Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plants, and today we are back and doing some more spreads for some of my patrons over on my top tier of Patreon. Today we have spreads for Bobby, Katrina, and Rachel, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, the first spread we're going to be doing today is for Bobby, and she sent me some pictures of her family going to Universal, and then the Halloween Horror Nights, so we're doing a Halloween Horror Nights fun spread. I thought it would be fun to do this spread on black just to kind of change it up. So I'm using some black cardstock. And then I went on Etsy and found just like some random um, like Halloween Horror Nights related artwork um, and then printed it out and had my Cricut cut them out. Uh, I did make two different versions. I made a version of white with like the white offset. And, and then I remembered that I wanted to do this on black. And then so I went back in and I gave all the stickers a black offset. So that way, so we'll kind of see how that looks. I'm kind of curious, um, but I think it would be better, especially like this big sticker um, than putting like the white down. Uh, so I think having the black will actually kind of add to it. Um, and then of course we'll put some boxes down so that way she has somewhere to write. But let's go ahead and get started. I kind of have them laid out how I'm thinking um, they're gonna work. This might change, I don't know. I did print this sticker to kind of be my like title for the page instead of, you know, writing out um, Halloween Horror Nights. So we're going to try sticking this nice big sticker in here. And I did for once use the bleed of my Cricut. I've never used it before, but I just wanted to make sure I had no white around the borders of my stickers. Um, so I went ahead and used the bleed option and I feel like it worked really, really well. So I'm going to put this over as far as I possibly can to this edge here. And again, this is kind of like titling my page. Okay, that's fun. Yeah. And I'm glad I did the black because I feel like the white would have just been too much and stood out too much. I did go in already because I have so much. Like I have bins of just like cardstock because I use a lot of cardstock um, for like my individual sheets so that way I can kind of um, separate them because I make dividers. So I have a ton of cardstock just laying around. Um, so I like using them to kind of just give the pictures a border because I feel like it just like makes them look a little nicer than just, you know, laying down the picture on the page, especially when doing um, spreads on just like a plain sheet of paper rather than using like a planner spread. All right, I'm going to go in with pattern boxes and then we're going to use these um, diagonal striped. So I'm going to lay one down over here just so she has like a space for a little bit of journaling. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to do it over here actually. And that way we can actually, <laughs> she'll be able to write on here regardless of it being, you know, black. And then I'm just going to keep going and laying down my pictures until I'm happy and satisfied with where I put all the pictures. Um, so I'm going to go in and just start laying these down on my paper here. A handy dandy tape runner. I had to run to Walmart to stock up on the tape for the tape runners. Um, because Amazon apparently doesn't have this anymore, or it's like crazy expensive on Amazon right now for some reason. So had to make a Walmart run, but I stocked up. They have so many. So like for once I like grabbed like 10, 10 refill packs. So that way, hopefully I won't have to restock them anytime soon. I'm also going to go in with some of the smaller, um, boxes just so I can do like a couple other labeling things so she can just write like little blurbs here and there okay so one side done let's get the other side laid down and then we can start laying down the fun stickers okay stick that one there i think i should start at the bottom actually so i'm gonna go back to the bottom and start laying these down. I'm actually going to separate these because I think, I think I can fit, yeah, I can fit that in the in between. And I don't think anything will get punched there. 
and I'm going to add a box in the in-between space there. And then just go in with the rest of the pictures. Stick this up just a little bit. And I'll have room to add another box in there. And then, do I want to do in or out? Let's do out. Okay, and then again, you can go in with a couple extra little blurb stickers. Add a little extra notes and details about what's going on in the pictures. Um, okay, let's get some fun stickers in here. So I did print them in different sizes. So I kind of did like a bigger size and then I did a smaller size because I never know what size. But you could see like I added the bleed, which I've never done it. I've never used the bleed on the Cricut. Um, but that was perfect for making sure that none of the stickers had white around them. So I'm really happy with that. And now we can go in and add our stickers and then we won't have white, you know, just like showing on the edges of those, which I think is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and start adding all the characters. I'm not brave enough to do Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> last year, I think it was last year or the year before, we were at a Six Flags um, during Halloween time. And, you know, they don't have the Halloween Horror Nights like going on all day long. So we were there for the rides and all that good stuff. And then it got time for like the actual stuff, like the horror stuff just begin. And I was like, and we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all done. Like, I know I'm good. <laughs> I did one haunted house when I was little and have never done one again because it was so traumatizing. So I'm good. Never been a scary movie person. <laughs> Not my style, that's for sure. And in there, I think I'm going to put one more journaling box in there. Just because we have the space. Where'd they go? Um, ooh, I actually could do a long one. Oops. Stick this guy in here. Nice long journaling one. I feel like I'd never get to use that size and if I do it's pretty rare <laughs> uh, and then an extra little blurb stickers places to write like favorite things favorite moments all of that good stuff so I'm just gonna I'm just layering these in here and then I think I'm gonna go in with some of the small ones as well I think I have this smaller one of one that I haven't used yet. Thank goodness for my cricket, man. <laughs> this is a lifesaver. Cricket and Etsy. Definite lifesavers. I have all these little bitties. I'm just gonna add in. <laughs> I'm trying to like make sure I'm not adding the same ones on the same side. Kind of switching it up a little bit. Who don't I have over here? Um, put you over here. Chucky is the reason why anytime my child has ever gotten a doll for Christmas or a birthday, I have immediately gotten rid of it. <laughs> Because dolls just have always creeped me out. I am not a doll person. If you want me not to be your friend ever again, get me a doll. And then that friendship is over. <laughs> I do not like dolls at all. Okay, I feel like this space needs something. So I'm going to stick a box there. 
again, she can use this for like, um, cause I think there's haunted houses that you go through and all that stuff. Um, mazes, you know, so the, she can use these to write which ones they went through and what they did. <laughs> cause I think that would be really fun. And then they can remember if they go next year, which ones were good and which ones were not worth going through. All right, let me punch these before I forget because I will forget if I don't do it now. I'm gonna punch it. Doing my best to line it up. It's a little thicker because it's on cardstock. Ah, oh, perfection. I didn't even nip any of those. They were like literally right at the edge. Right at the edge. <laughs> All right, there we go, ready to go, ready for her to go in and fill in, add her little blurbs. Um, you know what, I am gonna add, let's just add one more little box and this can be for like a date, to write a date down. When they were there, I mean, I see on this picture it says September 14th, but maybe she can use this to like write the actual dates that they were there. Did they do it all in one day or was it over two days? That kind of thing. So there we go, Bobby. I so hope that you love your spread. Alrighty, our next spread is for Katrina and she asked for a fall themed undated classic spread. So I have some pages here pulled from an undated planner. We're gonna go in with Autumn Days by Costhetic Plans. I found these really pretty, just this really pretty like neutral pumpkin set. And then I also have Autumn Allure pulled out um, because I found a set that's kind of similar, but it has some black in it. Um, but I feel like I could kind of mesh these two together. And then this book also has quotes in it. So I also just figured might as well pull that one out and then maybe we can kind of pull from both things um, and then just see if we can kind of make something fun. But there are some fun stickers in this book. There's some fun um, layered boxes and then of course, the clear, um, clear. So we're going to go in with the clear, I think, because I think I only have, um, the ones from the Live of Posh book in clear. And sometimes mixing clear and paper doesn't always look the best. So we'll go in with the clear from both books and then hopefully that'll kind of help make it look like they're meant to go together. Let's stick these in here, just like so, just little corner pieces. I even have a corner piece in the Live Love Posh book, so I'm actually gonna pull that one out as well. If I can pull it out. And it's a little bit of a different vibe. It has the leaves in it, but I feel like the color schemes are very similar, if not exactly the same. So we're kind of just mixing some things here. Been having a lot of fun mixing. <laughs> and then we have a nice big pumpkin moment here. And then some more of the floral vibe in here. Figure out where, where I want these. And of mesh those together on that side. And I have a nice big tree branch um, on this other side. So I'm actually gonna take this and add this in here. And I'm gonna trim off a section. Kind of have this layer with my pumpkins. Just a little bit. Again, because I'm trying to pull the two things together. And a lantern. And then I even have this like boot moment. That has more of the pumpkins. I'm just gonna add that in there. Okay. 
Let's get in some functional. I really want to use some of those layered, layered box moments. Stick a couple of these in here. I probably won't do a ton because that's a lot of pumpkins. <laughs> that's a lot of pumpkins, but we'll add this over here. And then probably we'll go in with some regular, regular size boxes. Pull in some things so she can write all of her schedule down. in all the things here. So and that functional. Okay, and then I'm going to go in this book before I get too far, because otherwise I won't have room. <laughs> um, so I want to make sure I'm getting just some quotes in here. Because if I put too much, then I won't have room for a quote. With a couple of these nice big quotes here. This one here. I feel like I can do something layered. There's like these fun geometric. Is that right? I don't know if geometric is the right word, but anyway, there's some fun shape, like layer clusters <laughs> in the book. So I'm going to pull some of those out as well. Oops. Things down straight up would be fabulous. Okay, going back to those pumpkins. This cute like door and stick over on this side somewhere. Maybe to cover this little section. Gonna cover that up with some tape runner. We'll lay that in there, and I'm actually gonna take my exacto knife. And trim the part that kind of goes into the next part off. So we don't need that. And then I feel like we can kind of just fill in with our pumpkins here. A couple white pumpkins, a couple pumpkin clusters. We even have some leaves. I'm going to add some of those in here. I do really like the leaf element. The leaf element? <laughs> Say that right. leaves go back to some more of the boxes I think add a couple more a 
couple boxes here and there. Oops, at least from both pages. My bad. Have a couple more leaf leaves that I can use. And I just fill in some space there. And then we have a nice quote we can add over here as well. There we go. Cute. The so fun spreads. We use Autumn Allure and then Autumn Days paired those together. Two different sets of stickers. I feel like they went together really, really well. Katrina, I so hope that you love your spread. Alrighty, our next spread is for Rachel, and she sent in some pictures to celebrate her daughter's birthday. Um, so we're going to kind of do like a memory spread kind of mashup. Um, we have some undated pages here ready to go, and I'm going to be going in with the Live Love Posh Posh Party sticker book. And this set is gorgeous, and honestly, I've been hoarding these stickers and I'm like at the point of like, if I haven't used them, <laughs> somebody else needs to enjoy them too. So we're going to go in There's balloons and all that good stuff. But we're just going to make a really pretty um, birthday spread with this set. So I'm going to go in We have a corner piece. And we all know we love a good corner piece. So I'm going to lay these down right in here that corner piece down and the nice thing about this being in a big is we're actually going to have room to put down all the things so i'm real excited about that be able to lay down all of the pictures there we go the other one ran out um i'm gonna stick this one here get our pictures in here picture for here. We'll cover up that gap in just a minute. And another picture here. Like so. And then we have a nice big picture that we can stick in here as well. Whoa. My tape was going crazy. Thinking like right in the middle here okay there we go there we go and then i have this really pretty like polka dotted paper sticker paper what am i saying paper washi tape <laughs> i got there eventually i'm gonna go in and lay this down kind of cover those gaps there and on this one, I actually need to do a little bit of trimming. So we're overlapping on the picture here. Just going to do a little trim. And then very carefully peel up the remainder of that tape. We don't need it. Okay. Kind of just add some of that in. We'll probably add some more because those polka dots are nice. Still need to switch out my exacto knife blade there's no tip <laughs> it's just been like destroyed i'm like whoops all right let's cut this sucker kind of in half kind of more so just cutting it so that way it's not so big and then we can use it in more places which is the best part about cutting our stickers Oop. 
It was not laid down straight at all. This in here. All right, stick that there. And stick this one up here. We have that floral element on both sides. And I have like a nice giant balloon decoration that we can add over some of the corners. We have some smaller versions of that as well. I'm actually going to overlap this one a little bit on this picture. How we can get some of that balloon element in there. Still have some more florals we can add in. So I'm just trying to get everything added in before I start with the other things that I want to add. All right, and then we're going to go in with pastel shapes, which restocks. But in here we have the circles, and I thought using circles would be fun especially since we have so much space with this being in a big for a little bit of journaling and the colors in here match this set perfectly. Match the set so well. The colors in there, perfect. <laughs> Let's see if I have any small circles left in this book. I honestly don't know. There we go. A couple smaller circles. Colors in here match so well. I'm even going to cut just a little bit so I can flatten it up against something. That way I don't necessarily have to layer. So that gives it a fun look. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just trim off a little, tiny little section of that. And then we have little extra circle spots to add little blurbs and extra things. Okay. Going to find more circles. Found a blue. Adding all the little blurbs. All right, I'm going to go in with holiday quotes from Amber Plants Her Day. And I need to add in some quotes before I get too far. <laughs> um, so there's a quote in here. And there's one that says, Love you to the moon and back, which I thought was cute and perfect. And then we're going to add this one in here. Add this one right down here. And then I have a couple. Um, that family means nobody gets left behind. Add this one in here. That one we have a couple quotes in here. That relate. And then I also have memory keeping essentials. And have a couple other really good quotes in here. I'll try to pull out. <laughs> and a couple of quotes in there. We even have a besties sticker, which I think is perfect. Okay, so let's go back to the decorations for just a minute. We have more decorating to do. We have some present stickers, a couple more floral bundles. 
which these ones I'm actually going to lay down and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and trim kind of around in the circle so that way it kind of looks like it's a part of that. I have a couple more present stickers and add in here. Even have some like little string balloon stickers. I'm going to add and again, just trimming off little pieces here and there. Trim that piece off. We don't need that. Photo camera. The more little pieces of the florals that I can add in here. And there's a teeny tiny, like, little happy birthday sticker. Couple more present stickers. We can add. I'm going to go back to the memory keeping sticker book. See what else I can add. Oh, this one's a good one. Love spending time with you. one in here right in there have even more of the balloons stick those in the corners okay and I'm thinking in this section it could be kind of fun I have these smaller circles and she can write favorite like a couple favorite things about her daughter so I'm going to go in with a couple of the circles and they could just be like really small different things but I thought this could be a fun way to kind of fill in this space here so I'm just going to add a couple of the little circles Kind of like a little chain moment. And then this favorite stickers from Amber Plants Her Days, um, her memories sticker book. So that can be like a little spot to put a couple of favorite things. And then I can just go in with a couple extra decorations. We have a little cake. I'm having the hardest time pulling up stickers right now. And then I can pull in this little candy Spencer moment. These stickers are not wanting to work with me. And then finishing it off, a nice big quote in there. This is so fun! I love the color scheme of this, and these all like all these colors go to well go together so well. My gosh, I can't talk. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this washi tape just because I feel like 
it adds a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. Fill in some spaces that are looking a little lonely. There we go. So fun. Okay, let me punch this so that way she doesn't have to punch it later. And if I don't do it now, I'll forget. <laughs> so slide this in and squeeze it down. And there we go. We have a spread all ready to go and be sent to its new home. Rachel, I so hope that you love your spread. And there we go, three very different spreads all ready to go to their new homes. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!